looking at a small portable computer called the IBM 5100. It's helping a lot of different people do their work more productively. Managing real estate investments entails many difficult decisions. Do I pay it now or later? What about the landscaping? Can we afford it? What about taxes? There are many, many difficult decisions to make. It's really nice having a computer to help. It weighs about 50 pounds. You can plug it in anywhere. That's a clip from a 1977 promotional video for the world's first portable computer, the IBM 5100. And this is the hook. Hey everybody, I'm Andrew Roush, and I love the University of Texas so much that when I'm fixing breakfast in the morning, I run my OJ through the coffee maker, because I only take my orange burnt. Do you remember the good old days back when it seemed like year after year, technology just kept getting smaller? There was even something called Moore's Law, which basically said that computing power doubles every two years. Okay, but why do you gotta deal with these huge smartphones that are always hitting the market? I, what, I want smaller, dang it. What, what's so wrong with a, a simpler time when the milkman came every week and ice cream cost a nickel and you got a smaller phone every two years? <laughs> Good morning. I was just delivering the milk. Ah, the good old days. By the way, I don't know why all my nostalgia is dairy-based. Anyway, this whole thing is why I got so excited about the research being done by Dr. Deji Akinwande here at UT. You see, he and his team have developed an efficient, low-temperature way of creating silicine. But I'm not a scientist, so what's, what's silicine? Silicine is a two-dimensional sheet of silicon. Two-dimensional? Two-dimensional? I don't even know what that means. What does that mean? So this is a two, you know, a two-dimensional, a, a flat sheet of sandpaper. So it's very extended in both lateral dimensions, but basically has no thickness, or so very little thickness. So silicine is just like that, except instead of a sandpaper, it's a flat sheet of silicon atoms. Okay, great. Uh, also, what's silicon? Silicon is the you know most popular electronic material today, used to make all our computer chips laptops, mobile phones, and so on and so forth. So silicin is a very special form of silicon. One atom thick silicon? All right, yeah, let's, let's downsize some mobile devices. I'm ready when you are, you Austin Segway writing, condo buying tech bros, let's make this happen. By the way, Dr. A, uh, how impressed by this should I be? This was considered impossible. And in fact, in science in general, uh, over the last, uh, hundred years, it was considered virtually impossible to make one layer thick of any material. Woo! Yeah! All right! Yeah! Texas! Take that, conventional scientific wisdom. <clears throat> now, of course, this is a group effort, and Dr. Akinwande credits his collaborators in Italy as well as the postdoctoral and graduate student, undergraduate student researchers in his lab. By the way, would any of those folks like to weigh in? Tell me why you're toiling away in the atom mines all day. Because we have all this knowledge open to share with peers or with you know students, faculties, whoever might be interested to contribute to it. And this is because of the open environment. I can learn from all the other, you know, researchers. And that's why I think this is very important environment like UT here to enable this progress to happen. If progress means I won't have any more unsightly bulges in my pocket, well, I'm all for it. If you want to learn more about silicine, there is a link down in the description. Whoa, how did that get there? And there's also three UT news stories. There's a story of a UT professor combining mathematics with Opera. There's also the latest episode of our Texas X's football show where we examine Coach Charlie Strong's new recruiting class and an interview with a Texas X architect turned author about the growth of this city we call Austin. As always, subscribe to The Hook. Please subscribe and share it with your friends. There's a button over here on our website. There's one down here on the YouTubes. And speaking of the YouTubes, we're on all sorts of social networks, the Texas X's and the magazine, the all call day. We're, we're everywhere. We're on this one and that one and that one and that one. I don't care which one's your favorite. We're probably on it, unless it's Tinder. We're not on Tinder yet, but we'll look into that. And until next time, I'm Andrew Rausch. Stay hooked. <laughs>